Oh yeah, what I was saying before was uh, this is the Bob CNC machine and we've just reloaded the gerbil offline controller and hooked it up to it and uh, made some settings which Bob's really doesn't provide. We found all this out on our own and uh, now it seems to be running fine. We're doing a little air cut here just to test the machine functions and everything is working just as normal except for it doesn't have a Bob CNC controller. It has a gerbil offline controller. So which means there's no computer hooked up to it at all. The beautiful spoil board here. The fine plywood Baltic plywood construction that John did here. Yeah, and a Makita router on there too. Beautiful variable speed router. See that little knob right there? Beauty. Yeah, and the wiring here is not that hard to do. Ask me in the channel and I'll be glad to let you know how I did it. I'm pretty sure that's how all the rest of them do it too. I mean, I've looked and everything, but don't quote me, but I'm kind of sure they all do it that way. Um, well, yeah, we're kind of happy to get this machine started. He paid a lot for it, and he wanted to see it work. And he definitely wanted to see it work without a computer being attached to it, because that's the way his other machine over here. That's a CNC Shark right here. Yeah, Shark CNC Piranha XL with a D-Walt router on there. This is more similar to my Zenbot. Uh, it's more similar construction, and it has NEMA seven, or yeah, NEMA twenty threes on it. Not no NEMA, or yeah, what is it? NEMA, yeah, NEMA twenty threes, I think. And those other ones, I think these are NEMA seventeens. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I get all those NEMAs confused. So yeah, he's got jig on there, fixture for carving out uh, signs and stuff like that. Let me see that sign you got there, John. Show him what you, what kind of work you do there. This is the kind of work John does right here. Beautiful, isn't it? Looks like a Polish bird right there. Carved into a piece of uh, floor tile, I believe that is. Yeah. Very nice work. Yeah. Doggone guy's trying to put me out of business here. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, he built a nice little box around it. And uh, see, he has an offline controller on this one too, which is where he got the kick of having a bigger router like this Bob right here except with this controller on it so he didn't want to rob this Peter to pay this Paul right here so we came up with this gerbil <laughs> I got him cracking up over here yeah so anyways uh yeah I think it's kind of interesting that it all works and uh you know, we're, we're pretty happy about it to tell you the truth because we've been waiting a long time to get this thing done so finally got a chance to come over here and straighten them all out you know sometimes you just got to do that you got to straighten it out you know so anyhow i think that's about it for this one a little computer over there in case we need it but we really didn't need it did we so uh, anyway this is mark with mark's home hobby saying please click like click subscribe even if i never see you ever again please help me out i need to get to 500 before i can make some money okay Help a bro out, man. Makita, baby. Mark's Home Hobbies. Talk to you later.